Welcome back and we did it. Day five of the warrior diet or one meal a day. Um, wow, wow, five. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, that was a journey. So, a couple of discoveries, I'm going to keep it short. First thing was, hunger is not something that gets worse the longer you're hungry. It kind of comes and then goes away, comes and then goes away. And that's something I've realised. So it's more psychological than it is physiological. Because if it's physiological, it would get worse the longer you're hungry. Um, diabetes is a silent disease. I had no symptoms, but through this five day experiment, I've discovered I have diabetes. Um, and when I look through the symptoms, I have zero, zero symptoms, and I haven't had any of them. So if you're out there and you're not sure, if you have a family history, if you know somebody who has diabetes, even if you're fit and healthy and do a lot of exercise, it's worth getting checked out. Hopefully you don't have it, but as I discovered, sometimes you don't need to have any symptoms and you can be fit and healthy and you can eat really well and you can still get it anyway. So, and then the third discovery I made was that I kind of wanted to get bigger and stronger and was doing exercise with that goal. But body weight and risk for a lot of stuff is kind of goes hand in hand. So it's a bit of a juggling act between being healthy and looking healthy. So being healthy on the inside requires you to have not much fat cells in your body and to do exercise and to eat healthy. But to be healthy on the outside, you kind of have to be big and muscly and that type of thing in terms of what the defined or acceptable images for a male at the moment. And those two generally don't kind of go hand in hand for most people. So that's been a kind of eye opener. <laughs> so maybe I need to adjust my goals and to show you in terms of the stats, how I did. So blood sugar went down, still not within the normal range. Um, yesterday when I checked it, it was it was 6.1, which had gone down from 6.9 after 13 hours of fasting. So it's still very high, um, but hopefully the longer I do the one meal a day, um, the easier it will get and the more I'll start to reverse the diabetes. And when you look online, there's not much promising stuff. It's all kind of, you're going to have this for life. But there's one study I came across and it looked at, if your diabetes type 2 is because your pancreas isn't producing enough insulin, then it might be clogged with fat. And if you go on a very low calorie diet for 11 days, I think it's 400 calories, 200 from greens and 200 from soup, then you can potentially unclog the flat fat in your pancreas and your pancreas can start working again. And then you can have a relatively more normal diet. Um, so that's one thing that I'm looking at and that's one thing that I'm going to be experimenting with. It takes a lot of discipline, it's hard enough getting through to the evening um, for that one meal a day. But now I'm discovering that one meal a day, as you'll see through my photos of my meals, it's cleaned up a lot. So now it's pretty much just greens, um, which isn't the most exciting thing, and some tofu for protein. Um, but, you know, you've got to do what you got to do for your health, right? So whatever, whatever it takes, whatever price you have to pay to maintain your health. In terms of other objective measurements, weight's gone down three kilograms, so around half a stone, which is pretty good for five days, uh, and I wasn't overweight in the first place, so that's pretty impressive. Um, I was mostly eating very clean. The first two days wasn't. Third day, not so much either, but cleaner. Um, had soup. Fourth day was soup, sweet potatoes, and some tofu. And today's going to be much of the same. So I'm looking at what the sumos eat. And the sumo wrestlers, although they're massive and they have 10, 12 bowls of what they eat, and it's like 10 to 20,000 calories, they don't eat much sugar. And it's mostly a stew full of vegetables and then some protein. So I'm probably going to be going along that diet and just cutting out um, as much carbs as I can, as much grains, and just focusing on vegetables and some tofu pretty much uh, during that one meal a day. So... Blood pressure went down, went down from 147 uh, over 87 to 127 over something like 66, sorry, 76. So that's significant. That would take me from the high blood pressure range where I need to have medication to the normal range. So that's just about maintaining it. And I think a lot for me is very much about how much cardio I do. When I'm doing cardio, then I find the blood pressure is good. 
I'm not doing enough cardio or it's not intense enough, I find it goes a bit high because of my family history again. Diabetes, still high, but better than it was. So let's see how that goes over the next couple of days and I'll be documenting my journey. So if you have diabetes, if you know anyone who has it, get them to subscribe to the channel to follow my journey so that they can get tips and tricks and be able to potentially apply those things to benefit them. Um, I feel good. I mean, I worked out for two hours today. I haven't done that much exercise for a really long time. And I was, I was, all I had yesterday was, you know, probably 800 calories or 1,000 calories. And I feel fine to be able to fool myself. I still did really well in the class against, the, I went to a um, spin class compared to the other people in the class. And that was on, you know, a very low calorie diet. And I think about fighters and they were on a very low calorie diet prior the week prior to the fight because they're trying to make weight. So that might be one one thing that potentially I look at in terms of actually how much food do you need and depending on your goals, if you're trying to maintain, great. If you're trying to shred, then maybe you can go low calorie and, or decent amount of calorie, get all your macronutrients in that you need within that calorie, but have it in one meal so you're not spiking your blood sugar so much and you can have some, some apple cider vinegar with your meals so you potentially don't spike your blood sugar as much. Um, and then cut out things that obviously would spike it. So there's all things that I'm looking at. I haven't tried the outside of any that kind of stuff yet. But without making this video really long, I'm going to show you the results. So you'll see on this video the previous results of how I looked. And I think I've shredded somewhat. So you guys tell me. Okay. So if you have any comments on what I did, how I did it, I tried to make videos. And so you'll be able to see a lot of the stuff but if there's anything that's left unanswered then you can you can take a look so i think i think upper body wise i think i've maintained um my muscle mass i think i've lost a bit um but i think in terms of uh lower down i think i've got more definition in the abs just in five days and you can see there i think there's more definition than there was before and um i feel better for it be honest um, back side and these were the same shots I did last time so still a little bit of excess body fat that I want to get rid of but I'm sure I'll get there I think if I carry on doing what I'm doing for say 30 days I think I would have a, um, a more significant transformation but I'm happy with the results so I would recommend if you especially if you have diabetes it's worth trying the warrior diet or trying OMAD, which is one meal a day, which is what I did. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, what you think about the transformation, if it's, if it's a transformation. And um, it's a very short one, five days, but it just shows you that actually even within a week, you can potentially change your health. I've changed my blood pressure, changed my blood sugars. Um, I've dropped half a stone nearly. I've um, shredded somewhat. So lots of things are possible. And when we go to a doctor, sometimes we think everything is up to the doctor to do, but there's a lot that we can do. So hopefully I can try and prove that along this journey. But thanks for sharing this journey with me, and I will catch you in the comment section below. Thanks, guys.